Hey guys, it's Bex here, and this is part two in my Strong and Slim by Summer Yoga series. Parts one through seven are going to form an entire vinyasa flow class, so remember to follow week by week, and at the end, you get a full class. How awesome is that? If you missed part one, you can link to the video right here, and um, I'm gonna stop talking. Let's get started. This is Strong and Slim by Summer, brought to you by my friends at Delta Labs. Nurture, nourish, evolve. All right, so we're gonna start at the top of the mat. Feet together. Now, if you have um, low back issues, then you bring your feet hip width apart. Okay. So, um, I'll start with my feet together. Toes touching, heels touching. Now, really pull up through the quads. Rotate your upper inner thighs back. That's gonna bring your, your tailbone out a little bit. It's gonna make you stick your butt out. There, find your tailbone and really lengthen it down. So now feel the four corners of your feet. Now from here, lengthen the spine. Again, bring the shoulders up, back and down. Palms face forward. So now you feel nice and connected to, this, to the floor. Now from here, inhale is bring your arms up overhead. Urva Hastasana, look up. And then exhale, fold over. You could keep a slight bend into your knees so you don't, you know, mess up your low back. And then inhale, half lift, look forward. Maybe bring in the hands to the shin so your spine is nice and straight. And then exhale, let's plant the palms. And then we're gonna bring the right leg back to a low lunge. And then the left leg back to the downward facing dog. So remember, in your down dog, your hands are shoulder distance apart, your feet are hip width apart. Spread your fingers wide, take a whole lot of room in your mat. Your knees could be bent. They could be straight, whatever works better for you. Rotate your triceps back, biceps forward. Relax the head. Take a couple breaths here. Remember the ujjayi breathing, the victorious breath, the yoga breath, making the oceanic sound. Your tongue is at the tip of your tongue to the roof of your mouth. Keep breathing. Now inhale, let's look forward. Bring the right foot in between your hands and look up. And then exhale, bring the left to meet the right. Forward fold, feet together if you can. Inhale, let's bring the hands in prayer and the prayer rises up. Urva Hastasana, so really guys up at the prayer, look up. And then exhale, bring the arms by your sides. Tadasana, mountain pose. Inhale, let's bring the arms up overhead. Urva Hastasana, guys up. And then exhale, fold over the legs, Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, half left, you could either bring the fingertips or the hands to the shins. And then exhale, plant the palms, bring your left leg back, low lunge, right leg back, downward facing dog. Beautiful, now from here we're gonna come into the inhale, roll forwards to your high plank, high push up. And then exhale, bend the elbow straight back, Low plank chaturanga. Make sure the elbows are close to your body. Inhale, upward facing dog, point the toes. Your thighs are off the mat, open up your heart. And then exhale, downward facing dog. So tuck the toes into the mat, lift your hips up, downward facing dog. Breathe, inhale. Exhaling. Now inhale is bring your left foot in between your hands and look up. And then exhale the right to meet the left. Forward fold. Inhale, bring the hands in prayer. And your prayer rises up. You roll up, look up. Arms are straight. And then exhale, arms by your sides. Tadasana, mountain pose. Inhales, bring the hands in prayer. Prayer rises up, Hastasana. And then exhale, fold over the legs. Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, half lift, look forward, create space. And then exhale, plant the palms, send your right leg back, low lunge. And then your left leg back, downward facing dog. Now inhale, roll forwards, high plank, high push up, nice and straight. And then exhale, come up a little bit forward into the toes, bend the elbow straight back. That should make it easier in your chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog, point the toes. That should make it easier. You should. Always mad hard. <laughs> <laughs> and then exhale, lift your hips up, tuck the toes into the mat, downward facing dog. Keep breathing, inhaling and exhaling. Inhale, let's bring your right foot in between your hands, look up. And then exhale, the left to meet the right, forward fold. 
Inhale is bring the hands in prayer. Prayer rises up. Urva Hastasana, gaze up. And then exhale, arms by your sides. Tadasana. Inhale, bring the hands in prayer. Prayer rises up. And then exhale, fold over the legs. Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, half lift, look forward, create space. And then exhale, plant the palms. You could either step back to plank, or if you have it in your practice, you could plant the palms and you could jump back, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Breathe, inhale. Exhale. Inhale is bring your left foot in between your hands. Look up. And then exhale the right to meet the left. Forward fold. Inhale, hands in prayer. Prayer rises up. Urva Hastasana, gaze up at the prayer. Look up. And then exhale, arms by your sides. Tadasana. All right, so that was Surya Namaskar 8, Sand Salutation B. That was awesome. That's so good. I love I it. I love it outside, too. So, I know you, you could actually say, reach the hands up to the Hello. sky. All right, let's get started on B. All right, Surya Namaskar B. Again, from here, feet together. Maybe a slight gap in the heels. I like to do that because then you can bring the knees together. So toes, to get, toes are touching. Maybe a slight, a slight gap in between your heels. And inhale, bend your knees. Sink your knees, swing your arms up. Utkatasana, chair pose. Really squeeze the knees together. Lengthen the tailbone down. Relax the shoulders away from the ears. And then exhale, fold over the legs. Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, half lift, look forward, create space so your, your spine is nice and long. And then like I said, exhale, plant your palms. You could step back to your plank or you could jump back to your low plank. Inhale, upward facing dog. And then exhale, lift the hips up, downward facing dog. You could take nice five long breaths here and then move them on. Move, move, we'll move into <laughs> sand salutations B. Sun B. Relax the head. Make sure the palms are connected to the mat. So your whole palm is down. Take it out of your wrist. You don't ever want to feel pain in your wrist. Inhale is bring your right leg up into a three-legged dog. Keep your hips square. Exhale, right foot in between your hands. Your back heel comes down at a 45 degree angle. And then inhale, rise up. Warrior one, Virabhadrasana one. Exhale, let's peel your hips open. Warrior two, gazes forward. So now the back foot comes at a 90 degree angle. So the back edge of the back foot, it's parallel to the back of your mat. Now stay low in your front knee and inhale, reverse your warrior. And then exhale, carry the hands to the floor, plant your palms, come to your high plank. Take an inhale here, and then exhale, low plank, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog, point the toes, thighs off the mat. And then exhale, lift the hips up, downward facing dog. Inhale, let's bring your left leg up, three-legged dog. Exhale, left foot in between your hands, your back heel comes down. And then rise up, warrior one with inhale. Exhale, opening it up to your warrior two. So you might have to adjust the back foot. Stay low in the front knee and inhale, reverse the warrior. And then exhale, carry the hands to the floor. Plant your palms, come to your plank. Take an inhale in your plank. Exhale, bend the elbow straight back, low plank. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Awesome, take a breath here. Exhale it out. Now inhale, soften your knees, look forward. And then exhale, you could either step or you could hop to the top of the mat. Feet together. Inhale, half lift. Exhaling to fold. Inhale, bend your knees, sink your knees, swing your arms up, Utkatasana, chair pose. Sit deep into the chair, squeeze your knees together. And then exhale, fold over the legs, Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale to your half lift, look forward, create space, Ardha Uttanasana. And then exhale, plant your palms. You could either step back or you could jump back, go through your vinyasa, chaturanga, high plank to low plank. Inhale, up dog. And then exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale. Exhale. 
exhale. So remember, you always want to stay with the breath. And then so, sorry, I and sorry, you want to connect what the breath with the movement. So let's do that again. Inhale, right leg up, three-legged dog. Hips are square. And then exhale, bring your right foot in between your hands. Your back heel comes down. And then you rise up, warrior one, rear of a one. Exhale, peel your hips open, warrior two. Gaze is forward, so the back edge of the back foot is parallel to the mat. Inhale, stay low in your front knee and reverse your warrior. Now feel the stretch in the side body. And then exhale, cartwheel the hands to the floor, plan your palms, come to your high plank. Take an inhale here and then exhale, low plank. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Awesome. Inhale, let's bring your left leg up, three-legged dog, hips are square. And then bring the left foot in between your hands, back heel down, rise up, warrior one. Exhale, open, warrior two, gaze is forward, back leg straight. Stay low on your front knee and inhale, reverse your warrior, feel this stretch. And then exhale, car wheel the hands to the floor, plant your palms, come to your high plank. Inhale in your plank, and then exhale, low plank. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Now take an inhale here. Exhale it out. Inhale, soften your knees, look forward, and then exhale, get a step, or you could hop to the top of the mat, whatever is in your practice. Inhale, half lift, create space, and then exhale, fold. Inhale, bend your knees, sink your seat, utkatasan, chair pose. So really squeeze the knees together, that really connects your low core in, lengthen the spine, send a little bit deeper, and then exhale, fold over the legs, uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, half lift, look forward, create space, long. And then exhale, plant the palms, step back, or you could jump back, chaturanga dandasana, high plank to low plank. Inhale, upward facing dog, point the toes. Exhale, downward facing dog, hold and breathe. Okay, now from here, just bring the knees down to the floor. Connect, the, point the toes, connect the toes behind you, and bring your knees mat width apart and come to a child's pose. And as you come to the child's pose, bring the forehead down to the mat, walk the fingertips forward. Your arms are nice and engaged. So even though this is a resting pose, you still want to feel the engagement of your body. So your hips are opening, your arms are nice and straight, you're lengthening through your side body, okay? Love me some child's pose. This was wonderful, thank you. All done, awesome. Remember, if you didn't see video one, you can click on the thumbnail on the left to check it out, or click on the thumbnail on the right for my latest four minute workout with Amanda Russell. As always, you can find out more info on me, on yoga, or anything that I'm doing at Bex Life on bexlife.com. And remember to hit that subscribe button for new videos every single week. Love you guys. Oh.